Right, this video is gonna take me like 10 years to film, so strap in, get a drink, <laughs> and let's get into it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Today we've got a video that I do once a year, and that is my entire owned TBR. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. So yeah, I've done this a few times. I like to do this every year to kind of give you guys an overview of the books that I own that I haven't read. This year, listen, my TBR is bigger than ever. I have no idea how long this is gonna take us, but it's gonna take us quite a while, I think. If you've watched these videos before, you know those of us with bigger TBRs, mine is currently at about 218 books. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the title of the book. I'm not gonna say anything about it. Otherwise, 218 books, if I said anything about them, we'd literally be here for like five hours. And we're not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna tell you the book, but I need your help. This video is integral to my reading success. No, I just need your comments because in my TBR game, TBR Cluedo, I have two different prompts that are a book an audience member loved and a book an audience member hated. And this is the video that I use to pull those books from. So when you see a book that you've loved or hated in this video, I need you to comment it down below. And then I randomize the comments whenever I get that prompt and pick a book from here. So I really need you <laughs> to comment on this video, any books that you've hated or loved, because then it might make me read them in a TBR Cluedo game. I've sorted these by genre, but of course there is always like crossover, you know, with like fantasy historical, there's quite a few that could have gone in either as a mystery sometimes have a bit of crossover but I've tried to keep it pretty separated by genre and I'll leave the time sentence down below for all the different genres but yeah shall we just get into it I think we have to otherwise we're gonna be here so long so let's start with fantasy it's a lot of fantasies and when I feel the fantasy it is my reality so we have Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson, The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker, This Vicious Grace by Emily Thied, I think, <laughs> Belladonna by Adeline Grace, Deep Light by Frances Harding, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, Siren Queen by Nee Vo, Wild and Wicked Things by Francesca May, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan, Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selena Godin, A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, oh. Keiki by Vishnavi Patel, Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercott, Darling Girl by Liz Machowski, The Starless Feast by Chelsea Abdullah, Language of Thorns and the Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo, The Young Elites by Marie Lu, Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters, Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton, Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucia, The Tea Dragon Festival and the Tea Dragon Society by Kay O'Neill. I need to get to these soon. I've been like saving them for the perfect rainy day for long enough. I need to like read one of them soon because look at them! Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chotsky, Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan, Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lynn, another one oh my god I just have to get to it soon this is one of my favorite editions of books I own The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinowski Babel by R.F. Krang the next book I'm gonna be reading I'm very excited it's what she deserves Wolf Song by TJ Klune and I actually want to say a big thank you to Pam McMillan for sponsoring this video so I am gonna chat a little bit about Wolf Song <laughs> so I have read two books from TJ Klune The House in the Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door and they have both been five stars I adore TJ Klune's writing I think he has this wonderful coziness this wonderful you know love throughout his books like woven throughout the storytelling of his books but they all deal with difficult topics I don't know which one of these I cried out more of <laughs> so I cried them both a lot. So if Wolf Song gets a five star, TJ Kuhn will qualify as one of my favourite authors. So Wolf Song is by far one of my most anticipated books on my TBR. This edition has just been released and I love it. It's also very long. <laughs> But I've found, you know, although I'm intimidated by longer books, a lot of my long books that I read tend to be my favorite books. I do love going on a long journey with characters. So it's about this boy who kind of becomes obsessed with this family that moves next door, who are shapeshifters who can transform into wolves. And then a lot of the book is set a couple years later and it's him and one of the sons, I think, from the family, maybe falling in love. <laughs> 
So, you know, TJ Klune's books always have a bit of romance to them, a bit of queer romance to them, which I love. And I am just so excited to read this, given how much I loved both of these. I loved them so much. Some of my favourite books, both of the years that I've read them. So yeah, big hopes for Wolf Song when I get around to it that I will love it as much as I love these. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the fantasy books now. When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. Book of Night by Holly Black. I feel like this might be... <laughs> One of the books that a lot of people comment saying they hate it because I know this has got mixed reviews but I am still very excited to read it. Unraveler by Frances Harding. Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambry. Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Yang. I know I need to finish this series off soon. Ugh, I just, I am terrified so I keep putting it off. Uh, um, apprehensive, nervous, bit scared, also weirdly calm perhaps on the verge of hysteria. The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. Snow White Learns Witchcraft by Theodora Goss. Star Daughter by Shweta Thakkar. A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The Obelisk Gate and the Stone Sky by N.K. Jemison. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Along the Saltwise Sea by A. Deborah Baker. The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The Lie Tree by Francis Harding. Pages and Co. Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales by Anna James. Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Nevermore The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend, and finally Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. That is all the fantasy everyone! How are we doing? <laughs> Fantasy has always been the biggest genre that I've owned. I just tend to get a lot of fantasy, but mystery is starting to creep up on it and to, you know, catch up. So let's get into mystery next. So I decided to go and investigate it. So we have You're Invited by Amanda Jayatissa, In the Hall with the Knife by Diana Peterfreund, An Elderly Lady is Up to No Good by Helene Turston, The Bullet That Missed by Richard Osman, The It Girl by Ruth Ware, The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett, The Three Dahlias by Katie Watson, Murder Before Evensong by Richard Coles, The Key in the Lock by Beth Underdown, The Long Weekend by Jilly McMillan, Pride and Premeditation by Terza Price, Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Kurian, Marple, an anthology by various authors, Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganise, Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley, The Collective by Alison Galen, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell, The ABC Murders and 450 from Paddington by Agatha Christie, The Cartographers by Peng Shepard, The Verifiers by Jane Peck, The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James, Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn, The Christmas Murder Game by Alexandra Benedict, The Dinner Guest by B.P. Walter, Dark and Shallow Liars by Ginny Myers Sane, Before You Knew My Name by Jack Jacqueline Bublitz. Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Cosimano. I know probably a lot of you are going to comment that you loved this. But it's true! I'm the best! The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett. The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. Six Stories by Matt Wesolowski. Your Guide to Not Getting Murdered in a Quaint English Village by Maureen Johnson and Jay Cooper. The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna. Dangerous Women by Hope Adams. Death and Croissants by Ian Moore. The Escape Room by Megan Golden. The Jeweled Moth by Catherine Woodfine. The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. A Spoonful of Murder by J. M. Hall. People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitney. Field, the Man in Black and the Mansfield Park Murder by Lynn Shepard, The Burning Issue of the Day by T.E. Kinsey, Peril at End House and Lord Edgware Dies by Agatha Christie, We Were Liars and Family of Liars by E. Lockhart, The Inugami Curse and the Village of Eight Graves by Sashi Yokomizo, Murder Most Unladylike by Robin Stevens, Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay, and Aggie Morton Mystery Queen The Body Under the Piano by Marth Jocelyn. That is all our mysteries everyone! <laughs> all of my other genres are a lot smaller. Mystery and fantasy are by far the biggest one so now we should get on a little bit quicker. <laughs> I think let's do historical next. Ah that's history. <laughs> 
So we have The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sapetis, The Lincoln Highway by Amor Taus, The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo, Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, Lovely War by Julie Berry, The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, Take My Hand by Deline Perkins Valdez, Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel, The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry, Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson, Don't Cry Cry For Me by Daniel Black, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doer, The Good Left Undone by Adriana Trigani, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, and So Many Beginnings by Bethany C. Morrow. That is all my historical. Of course, a lot of the fantasy that I mentioned has historical elements, same with the mystery. I think all of these genres probably have something historical in them, but these are the ones that I categorised as mainly historical. Let's get into non-fiction now, actually. That's quite a big category as well. Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke. Just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. <laughs> so we have Harlots, Whores and Hackabouts by Kate Lister. I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. Murder Isn't Easy, The Forensics of Agatha Christie by Carla Valentine. Educated by Tara Westover. The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Biased, The Science of Race and Inequality by Jennifer Eberhardt. Essex Girls by Sarah Perry. Heart of the Race, Black Women's Lives in Britain by Beverly Bryan, Stella Dudzie and Suzanne Scaff. The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford, Bittersweet, How Sorrow and Longing Make Us Whole by Susan Cain, Tell Me Everything, The Story of a Private Investigation by Erica Krauss, Haven't You Heard by Marie Leconte, Bookshop Tours of Britain by Louise Bowland, Not That Bad, edited by Roxane Gay, Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies, curated by Scarlett Curtis, The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colour Blindness by Michelle Alexander, Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody, The Tree of Yoga by BKS Iyengar, The Adventures of Maud West Lady Detective by Susanna Stapleton, Forgotten Women the Artist and Forgotten Women the Scientist by Xing Sheng, and Unwell Women, A Journey Through Medicine and Myth in a Man-Made World by Eleanor Cleghorn. That is all our non-fiction. I mean, I look at so much of the non-fiction, I'm like, I wanna read it so bad, but I think I just don't get around to it as quickly. I would say out of all of the genres that I have, this is the genre that has the least, like, been the least refreshed since the last time I did this video. We've got a lot of the same books on there, so I do need to make it a goal to read more non-fiction, but I guess I just find it intimidating and it doesn't always fit into the other vlogs that I'm doing. <gasps> so excited. <laughs> Thriller is next, so we have Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty, Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart, Breathless by Amy McCulloch, The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen, Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, The Lies I Tell by Judy Clark, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham, Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett, Nine Elms by Robert Breisender, The Whisper Man by Alex North, by far one of my least favourite covers to ever exist. <laughs> <laughs> Pine by Francine Toon, The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen, and When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean. That's all our thrillers. I told you, the, the categories are getting much smaller now. How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. Next we have horror, and I actually barely have any horror since I did that video where I read seven horror books in seven days. I think it really just like depleted my stash. So I barely have any horror left on my TBR. We have Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia. My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starlin. And The Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich. The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. The Hacienda by Isabel Canas. And Hashtag No Escape by Gretchen McNeil. That is all my horror, so I really need to go get some more horror to kind of, well, I don't need to because I've got 200 books to read. A classic. Classic. Not debatable. Not up for debate. Okay, so next we have classics, and actually this is probably the genre with the least refreshing since last year, because I probably haven't read any classics, if we're honest, this year. Let's not talk about how that was probably a goal of my reading this year, and it definitely has not happened. Anyway, moving on. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. We have Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, No Surrender by Constance Maud, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert L. Stevenson, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle, Sanderton by Jane Austen, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Valette by Charlotte Bronte, and we have Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. 
He wants to marry me. <laughs> okay, next is romance. And as you guys know, I don't tend to read a lot of them, but I have been slowly getting more into romance. So the ones that I have on my TBR are The X Hex by Erin Sterling, Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta, Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, After Love by Tanya Byrne, Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour, Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly, Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma, and Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. My vibe right now is just living life. Okay, apologies if the camera angle has changed at all. I don't think it has, but uh, my camera just died, so I had to spend a bit of time charging it. But anyway, Contemporaries is next. We have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. We have Tiny Pretty Things by Sonia Chariputra and Danielle Clayton. Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. Moxie by Amy Poehler. What Mama Left Me by Renee Watson. Shine by Jessica Young. All the Rage and Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. A Little Hope by Ethan Joella. Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow by Zalfla Katu. The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith. And True Biz by Sarah Novick. I feel like today the future starts. So it's a good day. Okay, so we're on to our two smallest genres now, genre sizes. And the first of that is sci-fi. So we have Every Line of You by Naomi Gibson, Saga Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, Someone in Time, an Anthology, Until the Last of Me by Sylvain Nouvelle, Waking Gods and Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, and Upgrade by Blake Crouch. I think I'm just special. Special. And then our last genre is like magical realism y, fabulism kind of thing. I only have three left on my TBR, so definitely a genre that I need to get a few more of. We have Wild Beauty and The Mirror Season by Anna Marie McLemore and Split Tooth by Tanya Tagak. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is it. <laughs> that is all of my physically owned. TBR. Oh my god, that was a lot. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I hope you enjoyed seeing every book that I own, and I really want to know which of them you've loved and hated. That's kind of like the highlight of the video for me, is seeing what your favourites are and what you've loved. So please, please let me know down below what your favourites are, and the ones you've hated. Tell them apart. Tell me why you hated them. As I said before, such a big thank you to Pam McMillan for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out Wolf Song by TJ Clune and of course House in the Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door if you haven't read them yet. But I am really hoping to get to Wolf Song very, very soon. If you got into the end of the video, comment the sleepy emoji because <laughs> I'm tired. I'm very tired. So comment that down below if you got to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see your comments and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.